education uh, available in our uh, industries or any other educational institutions. Whenever we need some additional uh, software or any other thing, we, we are in need of procuring more number of systems. So these things can be avoided by moving our environment to cloud. So if uh, so nowadays we are having most of the systems are multi-core processes. So if you are making use of these multi-core processes effectively, then uh, using the cloud computing environment, then there is no need for procuring much much hardware for that. So whatever the multi-core process we are having right now, we, we will be very sure, for example, if you are considering our educational institutions, we can be very sure that we can able to uh, make use of only the 50% maximum utilization of the systems. Most of the time we are So this resource 
coding is possible. Why? Because we are making use of the virtualization concept over here. So each and every machine we are uh, making a virtual image. So each and every virtual image we can label called as a resource. So everything we are kept in the form of resource pooling. So that is one of the main important characteristics of cloud. And next one is broad network access. We have to make use of the internet for accessing our uh, cloud service. So uh, normally all the systems nowadays we are having making use of the internet. So normally we, we have to have this network, broad network access. Internet connectivity should be there. So these are the five important characteristics of cloud computing. Next we will see what are the different uh, uh, service models available. So we are having three types of service models. The first level is the lowest level that is infrastructure as a service, IAAS. So in infrastructure as a service, we want to consider only the hardware components. So the hardware components we are just about many kinds of servers, the computer systems, even printers, like this. All the hardware uh, components is coming under this IAAS. If you are getting the uh, service for those hardware systems that is coming under IAAS, that is infrastructure as a service. Next one is platform as a service. So this is our next level. So if you are going for platform as a service, then which implies that we have to have this IAAS, IAAS as well as PAAS. So here we have to uh, procure the service for hardware as well as the operating systems or additional softwares and making our system to be ready to execute. So that is our platform as a service. Next one is software as a service. So if you are uh, going to procure this software as a service, this is our cross level, that is third level. So we must cross all these two uh, services before the one. That is the lowest uh, level IES, next level PAES, next one is our software as a service. That is we are procuring for hardware, operating systems are running in environment and then only we are coming for applications of any business process concerns. And let us see regarding deployment models and tools useful for our cloud computing. So we are having different types of cloud computing deployments. We will see uh, the examples of the deployment models over here. First, public cloud. What do you mean by public cloud? So this cloud service providers will provide the cloud service in public. Anyone can able to access that particular cloud area. So if you are going for such a service, those things are coming under public cloud service. So this public cloud service is provided by many concerns. For example, here I have mentioned as a WS, that is Amazon Web Services and Rackspace Hosting. So, regarding Amazon Web Services, we can able to go for uh, free account and we can able to get the free services also. Or else you can able to have the commercial product also by purchasing the infrastructure. Next one is Rackspace Hosting. So, in the Rackspace Hosting, we, we are having different types of services, infrastructure as a service, and even uh, starting from the simple website uh, creation till email hosting, uh, cloud infrastructure providers, everything can be provided by this Rackspace hosting. Here we have to pay for our service. Next one is private cloud. So when we want to establish our uh, cloud environment only for our particular institution, then those cloud environment we can call as private cloud. No other users have will we are not able to enter into our cloud, that is the scenario. That is, unless other than our users, no others can able to access our clubs. That is coming under private cloud. So, these we can able to create the private clouds we using the existing uh, technologies such as VMware vCloud. So, vCloud is nothing but virtual cloud. So, VMware is one of the pioneers for providing the cloud computing. So, using this VMware we can also we can able to create the private cloud for our institution. You can make use of these, some of the open source softwares also, such as OpenStack. Next one is Apache Cloud Stack. So, in OpenStack, it is nothing but a cloud operating 
Thank you for this. Episode.